The Peak Design Everyday Backpack Zip 20 liter is a photography focused bag first and can also be used as an everyday carry bag or a minimal travel bag. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We've been testing this bag for the last month in Detroit, Michigan and Portland, Oregon as a minimal one bag travel backpack that we fit clothes and a bunch of camera gear into. We'll get into all the details going on with this bag and how we packed it later in the video as well. And feel free to visit our website for the full written review of this bag, including photos, as well as other reviews of the other bags in the new Peak Design Everyday V2 line, as well as the best buying options on where to pick these up. Let's jump right into the video. Kicking it off with the main material of this bag, it is a 400D double poly coated DWR impregnated nylon canvas. And that is a ton of words, but overall we like how it feels in the hand. And after a month of testing, it is holding up generally well without too many aesthetic dings or blemishes. On the 15 liter white version, we have noticed a couple more pieces of wear and tear on that. So be sure to check out our full review on the 15 liter over at packhacker.com. And the DWR coating on here gives it a slightly rubbery feel and helps with weather resistance. The black version of this bag offers subdued black on black branding on some of the Hypalon areas on the top corner here of the front of the pack and on the back of the pack shoulders, there is a small PD icon as well. At the time of this review, this bag comes in three different colors. We have the black version here, ash, and midnight. All the colorways are 100% blue sign approved recycled material, except for the black version that we have here. Overall, the bag has a bit more of a technical and minimal look. We decided to poll our audience to get their thoughts on the overall aesthetic of this bag. So feel free to go join us over on Instagram if you'd like to be involved in future polls. To wrap up the rest of the components, we've got aluminum hardware in places like the strap adjusters and sternum strap. We have Hypalon used for the zipper pulls and small branding areas. Keep in mind these details will be leather on other colorways. We have Peak Designs Ultra Zips on the bag, which they have partnered with Zoom Zippers to create a proprietary zipper for their bags. Generally, these zippers have been smooth to use so far and they feel good in the hand, but there is some permanent crinkling that's been developing on the corners of this zipper with prolonged use. There are also YKK zippers on some of the interior parts of this bag. So zoom zippers on the outside, YKK on the inside. And lastly, we have polyester, polyethylene, and polyurethane in other areas of the pack. First up, the harness system. Generally, it is pretty solid for a bag of 20 liters in size. Due to the structured nature of the bag, it kind of feels like a brick when you're carrying it. At least that's how we've been describing it internally because it is such a stiff and structured bag, there's not a ton of contour on the back. Although it is a little bit stiffer and does have that brick-like feel, the harness system does really well for a bag of this size, and we think it's still pretty comfortable. Starting with the straps, they are densely padded with some stretchy mesh-like material on the back of them. There's a black Hypalon loop towards the front of the straps. One has that PD logo and then some nylon webbing loop towards the bottom of the strap. These are good for attaching additional accessories and right above that loop is a great place to pop the Peak Design capture clip if you are using one. Moving on to the sternum strap, we are not the biggest fans of it as we've covered in other Peak Design reviews already. Sure, it looks beautiful, but we have found it slower and more complicated to use compared to other sternum straps on the market, especially those that use a simple Duraflex buckle. The side without the nylon pull tab is designed to be a semi-permanent attachment, at least a little bit tighter than the side width. In all the samples we've received from Peak Design, we have found this to be a big variable on this sternum strap. So some come off quite easily and others in the case of this one are so tight that it's taken us like a minute to take the thing off. We have had a couple of other folks comment this and drop us notes as well. This is a bit of a catch 22. Either you seem to get a sternum strap that is too tight and easy to adjust or a little bit too loose and there's more of a risk of losing it. We have lost so many sternum straps in the times that we have been testing bags that haven't been permanently attached. And that's definitely a concern here as well with ones that are more loose. On a positive note, you can attach the looser side of the sternum strap to the top Hypalon loop while not in use. 
Small detail I wanted to bring up to you on the zip compared to the ordinary everyday version. The ordinary everyday version has magnets on here where you can kind of crisscross the straps and fasten them down. Uh, this doesn't really exist in the zip, which we think is totally fine, but there are a ton of little details like that and that's what's gonna dictate that increase in price on the ordinary everyday backpack versus the zip version. Moving down to the aluminum hardware, we love how easily this adjusts, it just glides. We really like how Peak Design handles the strap adjustments here, and it kind of follows suit with the smoothness of the sling strap adjustment that we have grown to love in the three liter version that we've been testing for over a month now. The back panel has some solid foam and a bit of texture and mesh to help out with airflow and help prevent back sweat, even though sometimes it's unavoidable. Behind the back panel, there is a magnetized luggage pass-through. We think the use of a magnet here is nice and clean. Towards the bottom, there is an additional pass-through for a hip belt attachment as well. Now, do you need a hip belt for a 20 liter bag? Generally, we don't really think so, but if you're hauling around a ton of very heavy camera gear and lenses, you might get some benefit out of it. The top of the harness features some nice swiveling shoulder straps that are reinforced by a strip of Hypalon. The magic of this really comes into play with the access, which we'll cover in a bit. The harness system is overall pretty good and comfortable. We had this thing fully loaded out with clothing and camera gear for our three day trip to Portland. Quick note, we mentioned this in our 15 liter review, but I'll drop it here as well. We've generally found the 20 liter to be more comfortable than the 15 liter in terms of harness system and carry. Let's move on to the water bottle stretch pockets on the side. The water bottle pockets on each side of the bag are symmetrical in access angle and positioning on the bag. The front portion of the pocket features the standard 400D material on the rest of the bag. Towards the wearer's back, we have some very stretchy mesh-like material and a more reinforced webbing at the top that is also elastic and stretchy. This allows the pockets to really stretch out based on what you want to fit inside. During the trip, we had a travel tripod on the side of the zip that was accessed less frequently and a water bottle on the other side, the one that we flipped up more often. Again, generally we like the 20 liter version of the pockets a little bit more than the 15 liter. Since this bag is a little bit larger, they're a little larger as well and they stretch out and they accommodate larger items. Lastly, keep in mind that depending on the bulkiness of the items you put on the side, it will cut into the bag's interior a little bit and that can be problematic because there's so much organization on the side wing flaps of the bag. A magnet also helps these pockets lie flat while not in use. This is also a handy place to sew the keychain that Peak Design includes with the bag. There are a bunch of lash loops around this bag that can be used to attach things like a jacket, tripod, or a sleeping roll to the bag. We've used one of these on the side pocket to further secure our tripod, and the bag comes with two. There are three grab handles on the outside of this bag. One is at the top and two are on the sides. Just remember that depending on what you put in the side pockets, it could obstruct access to the handles as well. So we have the tripod in there, we couldn't really use that side handle. And lastly, the fabric on the bottom of the bag seems to be a little bit different, a little more reinforced compared to the rest of the material on the bag. Kicking it off with the inside of the pack, starting with the laptop compartment. It opens up in a small horseshoe fashion. At the very back, there is a laptop sleeve with a false bottom. We like that it's adjustable for 13 inch and 15 inch laptops. And it's a little bit complicated to set up at first. There's a lot of Velcro going on, but once you set it up, it's totally fine. One note here, if the bag is completely full and jam packed as we had it on our trip, it can be a little bit hard to slide the laptop in and out of this pocket. Also, since laptops are more rectangular and the bag is curved, we found the corners can get caught as you're quickly trying to pull the laptop out on the gusseted fabric on the interior around these curves. This was more pronounced on the 15 liter version using a 13 inch MacBook Air than it was on the 20 liter version using a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Not really a deal breaker, just something worth mentioning. Next, we found it hard to fit a laptop with a case on it inside of this bag. We generally think that's okay because the bag itself is quite padded and there is a false bottom as well that can help protect the laptop from unexpected drops. In front of the laptop sleeve, there is a document or tablet sleeve that is enclosed by a magnet at the top. In front of that, there is a big stretchy mesh drop pocket with two divider pockets inside as well. Generally, we like the way this pocket is designed, but it's not leader independent, meaning that anything in the main compartment of the bag that's fully stuffed 
will eat into the stretchy mesh part and make this drop pocket a little bit harder to access. This zipper and all zippers on the bag are able to be attached to lash points and handles to add a bit of a theft deterrent to the bag and keep it a little bit more secure. We found that fastening the two main opening zippers and threading through the laptop zipper and handle tend to secure the bag pretty well. Remember, bag features like this and adding locks to bags are simply a deterrent. At the end of the day, a thief can still grab your entire bag, run away with it, cut it open, and get access to anything they want inside. This will just help prevent somebody from quickly unzipping your bag and grabbing something inside. There's a single zipper coil that curves around the entirety of the front of the bag with four separate zipper pulls. This is really where the bag gets its name from. Our favorite positioning for the zippers is two at the top for access to the main compartment and leaving the other two at each bottom side of the bag for quick side access. The bag was never really designed to be opened fully and if you do open it fully without attaching the flexful dividers, it kind of just looks like a baby changing mat. Where you open the zippers and how far you open them definitely depends on the gear that you want to organize and where you place the flexful dividers on the inside of the bag. Generally, we like this, but it has made us slightly wary at times. For example, if you swing the bag around and pull the side zipper flap open quickly, there's a chance the zip could open a little further towards the top of the bag than expected. Something like the Boundary Supply Errant has a button piece of webbing that can be used as a zipper stop on the side, despite the zipper going full length. It could be interesting to see that concept in action here. It's really not a deal breaker at all, just something that we've been noticing as we've been testing the bag. We feel a little bit more secure with the 30 liter that has a defined stop point for the zipper. All in all, this is a great bag to quickly swing around from your back, open up and get access to everything inside. It does take some getting used to, but once you get your system down, it is a breeze and a joy to use. As far as how we typically organize the bag, we have space at the top for everyday items by creating a shelf with the flexful dividers. This gives us some nice open space at the top. We've had a medium sized Peak Design packing cube full of clothing in here, a toiletry kit, and a tech pouch. On the top flap of this pocket, there's also a small zippered pocket with that stretchy mesh material that is good for holding things that you wanna keep more secure, like a passport. In the middle, we have customized and tailored the flexful dividers to hold the two cameras that we have been traveling with, the a6500 with a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and the Sony a7 III with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens. We didn't like the camera at the very bottom of the bag, so we chose to suspend it a little bit inside of the pack. Lastly, we left additional items on the bottom that we wanted quick access to, like small lights for the camera and additional batteries for quick access while in use. Onto the wing pockets, this is the top flap area of the zip when you're accessing it from the side. There are two magnetic pockets at the top. The left side of the pocket has black stitching and the right has gray stitching. This can help create a mental model of charged and dead batteries for the zipper pockets below that have two divider pockets in them that can easily hold batteries. The two magnetic pockets can also be accessed from the top of the bag where we kept the packing cube tech pouch and dop kit. We generally like the side pockets here. However, some people in our community have brought up some interesting points with version one of the everyday backpack. On version one of the bag, there is a complete zipper closure on each flap. People like this for two reasons. One is that if heavier items get jostled around the bag, they just fall to the bottom of that zipper compartment versus just falling out of the pocket into the main capacity of the bag. Some people also took advantage of that zippered side area to fit in larger items like a big HDMI cable that wouldn't otherwise fit inside of these smaller pockets. As mentioned earlier, we have been testing this bag for one month in Detroit, Michigan and Portland, Oregon. Nathan brought this bag as his single one bag travel backpack for that three day trip to Portland. He had it fully packed out with travel gear, two cameras, lights and a tripod. Generally, the bag is best used if you don't fully jam it out as much as we did, since the bag's laptop pocket and compartment was eaten into by how stuffed the main capacity of the bag was. Plus, the water bottle pockets on the side are easier to use if you don't fully jam everything out inside. Generally, we have found that all of the features and the design feels a lot more cohesive in the 20 liter version than it does in the 15 liter version of this bag. Also, this bag is a pared down version of the ordinary 30 and 20 liter everyday bags with a couple less features, but also has its own innovative thinking going on as well. One last thing to mention here is that the FlexFold camera dividers are getting chewed up 
quite quickly. There's a lot of loose threads in the edges and there is a permanent dent from where we had our camera for the Portland trip that happened just over a couple days. For the price of this bag, we expect more from Peak Design in terms of durability. The quality of the FlexFold dividers don't really match the rest of the bag. And we've also had the same issue inside of the three liter sling that we've been testing quite a bit. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, starting with the pros, this is a versatile bag for camera gear, everyday carry and short trips. There's some intuitive design that allows great access to all areas of the bag. Also the bag keeps its shape even when empty, which is really nice. On to some of the cons, the flexful dividers are already showing wear and tear. The laptop and quick grab pockets are hard to access when the bag is full. The sternum strap is difficult to remove and adjust. We think there are better sternum straps out there. Overall, the Peak Design Everyday Backpack Zip 20 liter is a solid little pack for carrying camera equipment, everyday items, and super minimal travel gear. It's a pared down version of the standard everyday backpack, but it has some of its own innovations going on and plenty of the thoughtful design features we've come to expect from Peak Design. Plus, it comes in at a lower price point, making it a great addition to the Everyday Line V2. So there you have it, our review of the Peak Design Everyday Backpack Zip 20 liter. We would love to hear what you think of this thing in the comments below. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.